I'm Brian Batista. My friends call me Bunny. This is episode 71, my art supply addiction. And the first thing is recognizing there's a problem. Not just a problem, but a bit of a mess. And you see behind me, my shelving unit. Six shelves to be exact. And I'm going to go down bin by bin, cleaning up and doing a little inventory. I want to see what I have, what I'm low on, and also how much have I spent. And if you like the content that I'm making, I would like to know. Please smash the subscribe button, hit the like, share it with your friends, or leave a comment below. And don't forget that notification bell. I'd also like to give a personal thanks and shout out to Mr. Joe Kelly, who seeing my last videos, heard the need for better sound and lent me the Sennheiser microphone that I'm using right now. Now, let's get on with the show. What a drag, really, to say the least. And uh, the floor was kind of slippery, so I needed to be sockless. I'm gonna start at the top here, and uh, stickers. I don't know how I've accumulated so many things like this, and I'm gonna find a new place for them rather than on the shelf. I do have a lot of watercolor stuff, and I use watercolor a lot when I'm traveling because it's very easy to find water where you are. I have those little brushes where you fill up the well in the back and gouache is also a nice one. And for the kids classes, I like to use pencil crayons so that they can see the different designs in their warm-ups. There's also some animation tools here. Also, my tinting stuff. So this way I can color any of my paint sources, mostly house paint, stuff like that, or the gesso that I'm using to prime my canvas. Next is drawing supplies. This is a big bin and it's got a lot of charcoal and Conte within. Drawing is really, in my opinion, the wheelhouse to all art. So you need to have lots of varieties of drawing tools. Before you waste money painting, get good at the craft of studying value. Speaking of painting, now we go into my biggest, heaviest bin. This is my oil painting supply, and it's ridiculous. Some of these paints I've had since high school. I had this teacher, Miss Kent, who was really supportive of me and said that they were gonna dry out and sold them to me. And you know, they're still good to this day. Then we go into acrylics, which I had to throw a lot away because they dry out so quickly. Uh, they tend not to last if a little bit of air gets in them. So I will have to repopulate some of these supplies. Next is my marker collection, and I love Copic markers and have done the math, and they're much cheaper in the long run, alcohol-based and refillable. You gotta love that. Brushes, on the other hand, I don't think you can ever have too many, and I have all sorts, including brushes for ladies' makeup. They're great and they're soft, from cheap to expensive and everything in between. I never have a problem when I don't know uh, what I need. This bin here is ridiculous. Adhesives. And you just don't know what you need. From marking tapes, double side stick tape, even hot glue guns. Yeah. Ready at my disposal. It's actually kind of impressive now that I look at how ridiculous my collection is. Here I have my sandpapers and tons of acrylic mediums which didn't fit in the acrylic paint bin. And I've got panels, uh, health and safety stuff, and some sculpture stuff here that isn't at my home sculpture studio, just for little fixes here and there, and small bits of rope and dowel to tie things up if I need. And this also accompanies all the tools that I have. Now spray paint, this is a new one for me. I did my first mural last year and I think I really missed my calling. So I'm slowly building up my spray paint collection. And I also have a few bins of kids supplies, which is random things, craft paints, all sorts of stuff that doesn't fit into another bin. I finally make it all the way back up to the top shelf. And this is where I've just got a mishmash of things, including my airbrush that I haven't used in a long time, but what a great system. Tiny little quiet compressor. And I've got a whole bunch of stencils that I've cut and used over time. I've got model paints because I do love building models and tons of pastel and also all the things that just kind of don't have a home yet I can just shove them and change them out on the top of this shelf a 
contrary to what you might be thinking because you're watching time lapse that I am not this quick and in fact this whole thing took me about three days I even repackaged some paint but eventually I got it done and at this point it feels like a pretty big achievement and I'm pretty happy that this is behind me now Well, thanks for joining me for that. That was not only heavy, but incredibly enlightening. While I went through it, I made a little list. So now I know if there's anything that I need and what's running out, that I'll have to order it. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, do all those YouTube things for the YouTube algorithm. And join me again for episode 72. I have no idea what it's gonna be. So leave me some comments or email me. Anyways, I'm Brian Bunny Batista. Thanks for joining me. Ciao for now.